and send the propaganda message of this is what will happen when you give out information contrary to our narrative. It harkens back to the days when the Volksgericht was here in Germany and it sacrifices justice in the name of political impact and security. While the DOD has claimed not a single person has been harmed as a result of the leak, I would like to thank Bradley Manning and WikiLeaks for the impact, as do many other veterans. Last year, the Iraqi government refused to renew the status of forces agreement with the United States, unless U.S. military personnel were subjected to Iraqi law. This was in large part due to the unprosecuted war crimes revealed in WikiLeaks, Iraq papers. Among them was an airstrike in which some of the dead were found not just burnt, but handcuffed and shot as well, indicating that a unit had called in an airstrike air to cover up an execution. No prosecution resulted. Instead, U.S. forces left Iraq last December, and Bradley Manning sits in jail. I cannot thank Bradley Manning enough for the sacrifice he has made in helping end an occupation. This information has helped movements like those in Syria, Egypt, Bahrain, and Tunisia. Bradley's actions have helped people liberate themselves at the cost of his own incarceration. As Easton and McCord, the soldiers seen carrying children out of the, the van and bringing them to the medic in the collateral murder video has said, if Bradley Manning has done what he is accused of doing, he is a hero and not a criminal, but can be, but can be considered a hero. What is on trial with Bradley Manning is not just himself, but the status of all whistleblowers. And is a litmus test of justice, democracy, human rights, due, due process, and the rule of law in the United States. Thank you.